Hello everyone, and welcome to Silverhawks Let's Play. I'm playing Medieval Fantasy. Give me a nice good sleep now. Uh, sleep next season, sleep next day. Ah, how lovely. Let's walk out, shall we, into the new day. New day of dawn. Talk to Dobron... Dobronega. Dobronega. Yes, his wife. I was thinking of uh, taking these away though. Right, that's how you do it. And how do you make a sh... I might as well make a stone knife. Yeah, I just sneeze. That's why my... You need two logs. I can take care of two logs. Birch tree. I wonder if you make a different color or if you give different stuffs. Stick. Oh. That's a lot of sticks. One and two. Ho! Don't be rude, Silver. I uh, will put you to number three. No, I don't. I click you first, then number three. And wooden shovel will be four. Let's see how this goes. Maple stump. Did it go away? Yes, it did. So maple stump need to get up and close and personal with you. And then junk. Only need to do it once though. Need to stump. I don't think I need to read it each time. Oh, I get a log when I do it. That's nice. That's nice. Let's set a trap. Set a trap. Buildings, fences. Traps! Need sticks for that. So I'll get, I'll put you there. Is that setting a trap? Yes it is. Um, wooden spear. Wooden spear. Uh, cancel. Are you a spear? Yes, you are. Let's make seven. <clears throat> Craft more, you push R. And then you push six. Oh, and then it becomes like that. Cool you. Can't a wild animal survive for a season? <laughs> for a season? For a season? Yeah, I, inc I increased the amount of days that passes because I thought it said that three days is one season before. And I thought like, yeah, I want a little bit more than that. Let's see. Wooden spear. And we'll put you to five. Hunt an animal. Food. 
Eating is essential for survival. When food parameters is depleting, you will start to lose health. You can obtain various nutrients from foraging, hunting, and farming. All food resources rot over time and may cause food poisoning. Discover different ways of preserving it for longer, such as drying, salting, or preparing a meal. Okay. How how do I hunt? It's like that's a rabbit. Can I sneak? Let's check the uh, settings, controls, crouch type. Okay. Hold control of this then. That's a beaver. Let's go after him. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yeah, I lost you. I'm sorry. Oh, you're there. Sneak up on him. Discovered animal tracks moose. Oh. Where did that go? Where did I throw that spear? Threw it to hell. Okay. I guess a moose is not something that I want to hunt. Let's stop hunting. Start eating dried meat. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Ah, oh, there he is. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yeah, I, I don't understand where he went. Nothing trapped yet. Maybe I should put up a lot of traps around this place. Maybe that's a bit too close. Let's see, traps was there. Need more sticks. Need more sticks. Yeah, because trapping it, that's that's a kind of a Yeah, take a bird in flight. Uh, trapping animals, that would be a way for me to 
be able to trap limit exceeded what in the hell okay well let's go to Dobriniga then which sounds almost like Dobje which means end in Czechish if I'm correct Dobje Dobroniga Dobroniga Maybe I can sell my weapons in store Hello, do you want to buy my stick? It's a very sharp stick. Perfect. Wooden spear. God dang it. Do you say you're there before you do stuff like that? Oh, it's the horse and the cart. He escaped from Skyrim. I need to drink. Drink, drink, drink. Read collecting straw. This seems yummy. Yep, I can't pick that up by doing what I just did. Let's push six since that is a empty socket, socket so I don't walk into the village. Hello there, Frida. How are you doing? Hello there. Hello there. Hey, I've been exploring around for some time now. I'm still looking for a place to settle, but what can I do for you? I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people to romance. So God damn it. Spouse, finding a wife the first step to secure your dynasty survival. Your future spouse will move into your house and aid you in the various tasks. One day she may provide you with an heir. But nothing comes easy. First you will have to win her heart. Remember that you can turn off the tutorial in the settings. Yes. Yes, I can. Hello there. Hi, you're Dobrodina, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Rasidmir. Hello. Can I help you with? I have a hunch you're going to get a hunch if you keep carrying that many things. That's right. Nice to meet you too, Rasidmir. What brings you to me? One of the girls told me that you can fix me up with some food. Haven't eaten proper meal in weeks. When it's time to pay tax. Well, it depends what proper means to you, but I can offer you something warm and filling. That sounds more than amazing. There you go. Now tell me something about yourself. How do you know my husband? There's nothing much to say really. I just arrived at the valley looking for your uncle. My uncle, Lordan, didn't expect to be done searching so quickly, to be honest. Oh yes, he was Undergost's friend. I remember how hearing how he, his eyes was like yours. I'm sorry for your loss. That's okay, I don't even remember him really. Most that I know of him is from my mother's stories. She's always looking up to bigger brother. Loved him furiously even when he stopped visiting. Lots of people did, did from what I've heard. These were something special about him. Yeah, a tough shoes to fill, eh? The only shoes that you need to worry about filling is your own. Every man in the architect of his own future. Thank you for saying that. It was what I needed to hear. But let me talk about me and more. What's your story? I was part of a traveling band of troubadours. 
I've never managed to learn how to play an instrument, but I'm pretty decent with my singing. Our travels brought us to the valley not long after the death of your uncle. I still remember seeing Undergast for the first time. He had so much sadness in his eyes. Lorden wasn't just a friend, he was a part of him. Band left a few days later, I stayed. There was something in Unigast's presence that I was simply knew that I simply knew my place was by his side. You probably noticed the age difference. Age difference? No, not really. What? Are you implying that I'm look old? What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing of the sort, in a way. So it looks like you anchored here by love. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, you could call it that. Or blindness or stupidity, poor judgment maybe. Whatever sounds best to you. Pretend all you like, you fell hard for the grandpa with sad eyes and you know it. I did. He annoyed me sometimes like he's he annoys me sometimes like nobody else, but I can't imagine breathing without him now. Don't let me go soft on you. You surely got some places to go. It was a pleasure talking with you, Dobridina, every second of it. Here I know not much, but that will come in hand when starting a new life. Everything costs coins here d these days. I really appreciate, but I'm not looking for charity. I'll manage. Oh, come on. Don't try to be a hero. Men. All right. Do something for me then. I won't be a hand up, but just the first pay. Are the parties that I can agree on. What do you need? There's a farm in the village. It's called... Why do they all have Slavic names? Yadog Neba. He's, she's usually supplies the tavern with rye, but I haven't gotten any from her in a while. My stock is almost gone, and you don't even want to imagine what happens when these people when we run out of beer. Consider it done. While we're speaking of beer, Hunegas asked me to grab a couple for us. Of course. Here you go. Great, thank you. I promise to tell me some stories about Lordan. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, haha, <laughs> thank you. He's not sitting there anymore. I actually wanted to sell stuff to you. Hello. Hello. Show me your wares. Hello. Both ale. Sell that one. Times two. Times six, actually. Oath roll. Sticks and stones. That's a fair bit of money. Ooh, a torch. I got 104 berries. Would you want them? <laughs> she actually did want to buy my spears. It's a huge price. I'm simply a millionaire now. Oh shit, what did I use sell? Ah, wooden spear. That's good. That's alright then. Hello. Hello. Merchant location. There's many kind of special merchants that scatter around the valley. Do not stay to ask your neighbor for help. They can direct you to the decide vendor or animal breeder. Remember that you Turn off. Yeah, I got that part. Yeah, so that's nice. Uh, deliver to August. Oh, did I just sell those ales? How is life treating you? God dang it! I thought those were the ones I found before. to Ungost. He's over yonder. Ow! Ah. 
Are you guys having hey. a problem? Hey, young ghost, looking the proud house owner of Valley. I'm back bearing bears. Job well done indeed. All right, let me wet my throat with this amber goodness and start romancing. I know Lordan for 22 years before he died. He was my best and truest friend. A brother, actually. I remember the day we met as if it was yesterday. I wouldn't mind if the king resigned from the throne. Or if somebody helped him to resign. I was 25 at the time, living in the big city Jorlen, Berg, where I was born. You could say I hate that place, but still was only home I knew. Maybe someday I'll tell you about... I'll tell you more about that. Anyway, I was forced to take care of my own, so I did. Doing the only thing I could do. Stealing. You were a thief? I was. In a bloody good Dobia. one, All if I might say so. Picking pocket was my bread and butter. I could steal a piece of steak right from under your fork and you wouldn't even notice. I wasn't greed. It wasn't greed that motivated me, but your survival. But I'd be lying if I'd said I enjoyed the process. Stealing is still a crime, no matter what the motivation. I'd say you wanted to wait to hear a bit more before you're getting all high and mighty on me. I'm sorry, go on. We have an unusual festival in Jallensburg. It's always brought a bunch of outsiders to town. You can imagine what meant for a man even in... I would make a better king. Yeah. Can you stop interrupting me? Meant for uh, my profession, I could say, worth work. Matter of minutes, I grabbed a few coins here and there, and some jewelry and a pair of boots. And then I saw a nobleman with money bags strapped to his belt. I was I... basically... Winter's over. It was basically begging me to set free. I sneaked behind him in the crowd and like I did a thousand times before Charles play. I gently grabbed the pouch, did little swimming magic, and there I was, sitting nearly neatly on my palm. Just needed to turn around and disappear like always. Then BAM was punched in the face. But what felt like a bull, and I was shocked. I didn't even realize what had happened until I hit the ground. My head was pounding, I could barely see straight. And do you know what was the first thing I saw next? Another blow coming? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> a smile, a big radiant smile on my face of the man with two different eyes. It was your uncle Lordan, the one I took for a nobleman, and he stuck his hand out and helped me get off. off and offered me a beer. Haha, <laughs> just like that? Just like that. I don't get it. That's just how Lordan was, you see. Your uncle was deadly clever, smartest man I ever known, hands down. You could see the world like nobody else, predicting things he, he always have at least a dozen step ahead of anyone else. So on rare occasions that somebody surprised him, he was intrigued. And he wasn't expecting you? Indeed, apparently, uh, despite my failure, I was still one of that came closest to robbing him, and he liked that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you accepted his invitation, right? I didn't really have a choice, did I? I Spring is was... when you feel like whistling, even with a shoe full of slush. Yes. I was terrified of a guy that moment, so we went. He took me to the most expensive, most crowded tavern in the whole town. I remember that it was a day festival. Even entering that place was next to impossible. He didn't seem to care though. In a matter of seconds, we were sitting in the table, being serviced by two barmaids at the same time. It was surreal. In my mind, there was only one ex except explanation. He owned the place. And did he? Not at all. It was his first time in Jollenburg. I felt a dream, to be honest, especially with me sitting dazed after the punch. I was still sh sure he was an old man, his manners, his clothes, and the way he talked and moved. And then he chugged the beer like it was a rare race, wiping the face with his sleeve and burped like a drum. He went from the lord to savage like that. Snap. Snap fingers. 
I relieved the moment a dozen times until I realized what he, why he did that. It was a mistake. No, no. Laziness, no moment of weakness. He wanted me to see it, to understand it. Understand what? That he was full of crap. Haha, <laughs> you see. Resume, your uncle was one of the kind. He was true master of arms and his weapon choice was confidence. What did that even mean? Imagine a closed door with two armed guards at the side as you want inside. What's your option? You can force yourself above the guards, try to, to pick a lock. But Lord and he just hold up his head high and walks straight in the modern d door to be open. You were right. That's all sounds surreal. I never knew that about my uncle. My mother's stories were quite different. Because I'm afraid she knew quite different Lord than me. Than everyone in the pack. Wait, the pack? Ah, dear ask me, there's much more you still know. I our store hasn't even really begun. Oh Jesus. But it's getting late. Come on, you can't just leave me hanging like that. Alright, I'm going to tell you a bit more. After the beer we had a couple of more than some mead and I remember correctly. We were talking about past dreams collections, start making some drunk certain plans. I thought we were joking to be honest. Next time thing I remember I was walking up in silk sheets. I guess the one's yours, correct? Are you kidding? I was the first time I touched fabric like that. The ceiling in the chamber was so high I could fit a giant. I thought I was dreaming, then the servant walked in and uh, I ready to flee, but instead of fighting me, they presented me with breakfast. Really? How come? It was Lorden's doing. I never found the, how he managed to pull it off, but whenever he asked, he just burst laugh laughing. After years, needless to say, I left Yellenberg with him on that day. The first time I went outside of the town's walls, never came back. There was the day I packed my, the pack was born, and three years later there were five of us. A real dream, a, f a family we call ourselves the Reminders. Oh, how wish you could be there. I, it all sounds incredible. I've never had an adventure like that. Probably never will. Easy, my boy. I wasn't always fun and lovely, but it's tales from another time. I really did get late. I'm sure you still have a lot of work to do. Come back to find me in the morning. I will tell you more. I'll do that. I won't do that. <laughs> God dang it. That's a lot of talk. I'm also dyslexic, so I have a tendency to read things wrong. And I'm not a very good reader. Wait for the next day. <laughs> yeah. I'll be running home and... I have to wait for the next day. Okay, that's... those are birds. Birds, birds, birds. Birds the word. Did I sell? I sold all of my spears. I need to make new spears. Did I do that with... just make sure you check how you do it with logs. Okay. I guess I'll just run home then and do it at home instead. Because I need those trees cut. I don't need these trees cut. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, dog. Yeah, well, this has been enlightening. Yeah, you're... you don't need to run that hard. Those are ants. The ground is, ground is filled with ants. Pick up those sticks and stones. Ah, look there! That's a nice little cottage. Ooh! And look here! The trap is sprung! Hunt a wild animal. Oh, I got the meat directly from him. 
That's nice. Craft soups. Oh, that's the way you do it. Can I push R now? Yes. Ah, roasted meat. Price. Fourteen food, thirteen food. Okay, so you go out faster, but you are yummier. I do, however, want to make myself some new spears. Hmm, I get feathers from clearing the trees. I wanted to make three. Maybe I shouldn't be selling these ones. <laughs> oh! Got more logs. Uh, number three. Oh, I'm armed and dangerous. I wonder if there's enemies in this game. Enemies that are like evil towards you. Uh, let's put those in. Feathers. Fur. Log. Porridge, nice. 34 sticks are usually... It's a bit silly for me to carry around. And I don't need those straws. berries you can be there um, yeah uh, as a matter of fact this is probably where I'll be going off since it's night time uh, I'm sorry that like the whole episode basically was me reading stuff um, so anywho have a nice day make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz and catch you on the flip side bye bye